Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy and I wanted to touch very quickly on a simple question. ISO 31000 has been approved as a final draft and is coming out very soon. COSA ERM came out a couple of months ago. Which one is the best? Which one should your organization use? Uh, what's, what's my advice? Well, since people are going to ask me this quite often in LinkedIn, so I thought I'll just record this video and I'll just keep sending this link to everyone. So this is actually a very simple question. Um, and it has you know, a, number of, uh, a number of answers. Answer number one. A as an educated risk practitioner, you have to read both. So I, I think that's a given. Uh, just to kind of investigate, see if there is anything useful in the, either of the documents, you have to read both. And uh, it's going to be very easy because it's like 13 pages in ISO 31000 and it's going to be ridiculously painful because I've spent days reading COSA ERM um, and it's just the language it's written, it's, it's uh, uh, I mean it's just uh, I, I hated it, this document so much on how it was written. Um, uh, not as much on the on the actual content on the messages that it was uh, containing. Uh, so anyway, you you have to read both. And uh, the way human brain works is that sometimes we have to reflect and digest information. And just purely reading the two documents may help you switch on from system one to system two thinking, and may uncover some interesting ideas on how you can apply some of these concepts in your work. Um, so it's worth it. Just. You know, it's worth doing it just for that sake that you may come up with some new brilliant idea. Uh, that's my part one of the answer. Part two, um, the only reason we as risk practitioners, um, well actually there are a couple of reasons we as risk practitioners need those standards and frameworks is uh, A, learn something new and valuable a and here I think uh, the simple answer is neither of the documents has anything new, anything fundamentally new. There is absolutely nothing fundamentally new in either ISO or COSO ERM. It's basically just regurgitating the ideas that have been floating around. I mean, ISO 31000, uh, I, I think just, you know, they wasted an opportunity, an amazing opportunity, because they literally reinforced exactly the same messages that were in the 2009 um, version. I mean, was their point rewriting at all? I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, the, there's, there's nothing fundamentally new. If you think uh, something that you see in the standard is actually new as a concept in the risk management profession, uh, that could either mean you've been living under the rock all this, all this time, or the risk management that you've had historically implemented in your organization is really bad. <laughs> because um, all of the concepts, all of this, you know, objective centric and all, all the other ideas and integration into decision making. Um, we've been doing that. We've, I mean, we've been talking about this for eight years and we've actually been doing it by over six years. I mean, um, there may be a small excuse for the companies based in US because it seems like the maturity of risk management seems to have somehow avoided that part of the world. Um, but, you know, the Australian and some of the European countries, th they just, you know, light years ahead in terms of what both standards are proposing. So there's nothing fundamentally new. So the, the other reason, the second reason why we want those frameworks and standards available is because we use them to sell our concepts to the board members, to the key executives, to the, to the senior management, to the middle management, to staff, because it's a marketing piece for us. And I'm I'm parking the marketing idea because that's what consultants are using and auditors and they're just going to bombard you with amazing new methodologies to align with uh, uh, ISO 31000 or, or COSO ERM, uh, most of which will be pretty ridiculous. Um, no, I am talking as an in-house risk manager, we use it as our marketing to sell to executives and to the decision makers and to the board members what risk management should be all about and why we need to be given access to the business plan or why do we need to be given access to the budgeting financial model so we can model the cash flow with risks. So, so there are a lot of things that we need those frameworks for and that's the, that's the second reason why we need it. And now that we kind of understand that it's, it's a marketing piece for us, then the right answer for all of you is uh, claim 
that both standards, even though that's not true, claim that both standards have changed significantly and that should be the driving reason why change is required. Use that as a golden argument to make sure you're given access to the documents that you were never given access before or you're given extra responsibility that was denied to you previously. Use it to your advantage. Use it to your advantage to sell some of the ideas that you wanted to do, that you wanted to integrate into a particular type of decision, but you just couldn't for some reason. So, um, coming back to um, the key message, which one is better uh, and which one should you use as a risk practitioner in the company? It's really simple. You have to know both to understand in case there's something that will strike your mind and use both. Make sure in your conversations you claim that you're doing something because both COSO and ISO have changed and you're trying to realign the current existing practices with whatever the new requirements are. Now we of course between ourselves we know that the change is not fundamental and we know that if you did good risk management that you would have aligned with COSO and ISO back like in 2014 um, and 13 when, when, I did, when I did it for example. Um, but if you just started on that journey of integrating into decision making, it's a wonderful opportunity. Use both and claim um, claim you're aligned with both. Um, but make sure before you do that, make sure you actually read the documents. There is nothing fundamentally um, fundamentally new. However, to give um, enough credit to the authors of ISO 31000 and COSO ERM, I will do separate videos, and I'll probably run like a, I'm actually going to run a webinar going step by step describing what are the, some of the key messages that may be useful to us as practitioners. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts right underneath this video for me for now. Thank you and goodbye.